bridge. Yes, sir. In Charlotte County. Especially when the tide's low. Then you're almost guaranteed. <laughs> what do you think, Jasper? All right, time to kick it. I can't really do it. What the fun? Jasper. So, this is the dock at Blind Pass that Jasper fell off a couple weeks ago. And we had the van and no boat, so of course we had to drive to it. Well, this time I'm back and I got my boat. <laughs> what do you think about that, Jasper? It doesn't mean you gotta go swimming again. Let's see what we got here. With the dock at Blind Pass. All right, this is uh, spending the night on the Stingray. The classic Stingray. The 1987. Jasper, you be careful. Come here. You just fell off this dock two weeks ago. Come here. Hey. We are at Blind Pass and we're fixing to go back out into the channel there and uh, head south and going to the white elephant and little bar uh, actually a good size bar or whatever restaurant type thing come here hey 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 come on let's go so we are going to grab something to eat come on and then I'll be able to find somewhere uh, I might just come all the way back down here. I'm not sure. This is such a nice, quiet, and smooth little area here, Blind Pass. I might just throw the anchors out right there and sleep in this area because there's not even hardly ripples on the water. Hey! All right. Going into the White Elephant. Got a nice dock over here. I can pull right up. I have to put it down though, so I can uh, dock the boat. They're getting ready for the Christmas parade. It'll be coming up very soon. And I'm gonna sit on the outside dock out here. Hopefully, that way I can keep Jasper with me. A little slow tonight. Usually they have live music and stuff going. Well, out uh, here on Englewood tonight, I guess the music was next door. Sandbar. They got some live music going on.
you doing, Jasper? <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Think so, Jasper. Jasper's out here, blind pass. Threw the anchor out. Pretty much got her uh, getting her ready for the night. The old stingray. Man, this boat has been around for a while. I've had this one at least 15. Got the little cabin and all sleeping in there tonight wake up tomorrow here in paradise and uh, probably head on up to intercoastal and head past Minnesota Key up towards uh, Venice stop in at Venice Beach grab some lunch and stuff I'll make breakfast in the morning on the boat here just some scrambled eggs but I just figured there'd be something in my stomach Right, waking up on the stingray in Florida. Oh. You think, Jasper? It went down a little bit, but nothing like I've seen before. Because <laughs> last night, it was totally up to the bottom of the dock touching it. And I haven't really seen that before either. So, uh, I don't know. I guess this time of the year, it's just up really high. get over there to the dock. I need to let Jasper out. Let him run around for a few and then we're going to make some eggs for breakfast. It's too early for this, Jasper. Out here blind pass. Looks like uh, people are already up there in the parking lot and out on the beach. 8 o'clock in the morning. Let Jasper run around for a few minutes and do his business, and we'll head back down on the boat, get ready for breakfast. Stovetop burner, keeping it back here right now. All right. This little thing works good if you just need a single burner. It's got the little propane thing in there these work excellent this thing will definitely cook me up some eggs so we got people moving in over there starting to do some fishing and stuff off dock and you're not really supposed to be docked anyway or mooring but uh 
So I went ahead and came over here and threw the anchor back out, just one out the front to hold me over here while I was going to cook. And the wind died down a little bit. It's still got a good breeze coming in. But I rigged up my little uh, stove over here because I do like this at the perfect height. I just stand here. And I put my little wind barrier up since I can't shut the windshield, actually. But that's working. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scramble up some eggs. I like to bring sausage and stuff normally, make a good breakfast, but... I just really don't have, uh, I really didn't want to bring that much because uh, it's only me. Got to have my chocolate milk, you know, chocolate milk. All right, let me get some eggs going. And just like that, voila, me and Jasper are going to be eating pretty decent that on the plate here. Mm -hmm. now that is delicious mm -hmm. <laughs> nice alright so I had to straighten up a little bit and uh, get everything situated on the boat and now we are on our way leaving the blind pass cove and dock and uh, Jasper's enjoying the sun before we take off then he's got to get down here in the floor of course but uh, we're going to cruise down the canal here or the main channel I mean and we're well we're going to go out here and make a left which would be heading north we're going to go to Manasota Key next That'll be the next bridge and dock where I can get out to State Park with a beautiful, beautiful beach. If you like shark's teeth, that's where you need to be. But, um, and then after that, we're going to continue on down to Venice. And we'll probably have lunch over there. And then we'll be heading back down to Eldridge this evening, which is back this way. I have no idea how many miles that'll actually be, but we are still on three quarter of a tank. And I filled the tank when I put the boat in the water, or before I put it in the water the other day. And I've never had it that full where it came out at the top there, or at least it burped out the vent. So when I turned the uh, key on, it was not quite on the full mark on the gauge so I'm not sure if it's just a sanding unit or what. I've never ever had this boat that full. I never needed to because when I go out on a lake, I never burn that kind of fuel. But today I really want to do some riding. I knew I was going to be beach hopping. So. And uh, yeah, that's why you have to stay in the channels. You can see that's land right there. And I mean, we are out in a heck of a big body of water. This is a huge area. But if you ain't careful, you will be stuck. Tides down right now. Get back over here on my line. <laughs> of course. I gotta head into those. Uh, I don't even know if you can see them. There's channel markers up here. As you can see, I've only been to the south, and every time I would come here, I would just turn right here at the, uh, to go in the box line pass. So this is the main channel out here, and uh, actually I'm not in it yet. I gotta get on the other side of this one, and then I'll be in. So I'm going to go out here and uh, we're going to make a breadcrumb trail going down this side of the channel and I can see a big boat coming and he's moving pretty good. Uh, the uh, channel speed is 25 unless you're in a no wake zone which a lot of this right here where we're at right now is a no wake zone and he is definitely creating one hell of a wake. Now I'll 
I'll have my new line. Well, at least we're in nine foot. And, uh, I don't know, I guess he's not going too fast, but he's still got a hell of a week. It looked like they were going a lot faster. I'm almost out of the slow zone. It's coming up. I can open it on up and get down the channel. 